Hello, my friends, and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto, and today we will draw a crystal deer. We begin by sketching the general shape of the body. It is a sort of rectangle, a little bit tilted, and with angles at both ends toward the middle. Then we do the neck, the head, and the legs. Once we have the general shape that I did very lightly so that we can do corrections, and so we can refine it. This time we applied a little bit more pressure with the pencil. The hind legs, I think I did them a little bit too much toward the back. And we don't want a limousine type of deer. <laughs> so I draw them a little bit further up. We continue refining, although I think the head is a little bit low. So I sketch a tilted line from the back of the body to help me visualize the correct height of the head. Like so. As we move on, we make a more precise line. We draw the knees, the hoofs, and so on. We go over the hind legs, which were very light. We don't need to go over the prior line exactly, because we can use this time to make any needed corrections. We draw his big horns up here. They will go more or less like this. They branch out like a tree. And now we divide the surface with many shapes. These will be the cuts of the crystal. And with the color pencils, we begin to tone. I will be using mostly white and gray, as well as bluish and greenish gray. If you would like more information and techniques about how to draw crystal, glass, jewelry, and many other cool surfaces and textures, I recommend you my book, which you can get on Amazon. Generally speaking, I will try to make slightly darker tonalities toward the back of the animal. What I mean with the back is the top areas. And this is because the beams of light can get through a transparent surface, illuminating the opposite side. But of course, if we have the light source, let's say, on the top left, like in this case, all the surfaces facing in this direction may have very bright reflections. In order to ground our deer, we will have him stand on a base or something like that. It looks totally different with this as compared as of having it floating in the air as it was. We refine the base and draw the shadow of the deer. Good! And finally we do some scattered sparkling lights both on the base and beyond. And it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. You know where to follow me, the links are below. And I will see you on YouTube.